Hello, T Cultures. Today is Saturday, February 11th, 2023. It is Deborah Quilt's birthday today. So happy birthday again, Deborah. I got to see her today. As you all can see by my shirt, we had this so so busy quilt guild meeting today. So uh, it was a nice meeting. So it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Hold on guys, I'm adjusting my mic, see if it helps. All right, is this mic still echoing? Okay, how about this mic? <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> if you all wondering what's going on. Um, let's see. Let's go back up to the top. We've got Susan Baker here saying hello to you and everyone. I don't know if I can stay, T, but expect they pass. Package post office said Tuesday. Just a small gift for you. Take care. Well, thank you, Susan. I will let everybody know when it comes in. And I'll try to remember to send you an email as well. Sandy Agger says, Good and blessed evening, all. Oh, is T at QuiltCon? Happy to he hello to everyone. QuiltCon is the last week of February, so I'm still here. And Sandy saying her rent is paid, which means she's hit the thumbs up button. So thank you. Beverly Aiken says, good evening, TNT Quilters. Brenda Foley saying hi. Helena Carter, hey, T and all Quilters. Nicole Baldwin saying hello. Um, Harriet Franklin Smith says hi, T and Quilters. Margaret Hassler, hi, T and everyone. Let me bring this over just a little bit for right now. Um, the Molly J saying hello, Miss TNT Quilters. Jonah Crutchfield, hello everyone. Teresa McCormick, good evening everyone. Miss T and all, I'll be listening. Ray Mahone, hi sis and everyone, stay safe still. Irish Lady says hi at T Quilts and fellow Quilters. Bonita Nance, hey Miss T and everyone. Liz Wilson saying waving from Michigan. So hello T and everyone from Claudette. So thank you all that were letting me know the mic is good. Melissa LePage, good evening T and everyone. Liz Wilson is, Miss T, is it 9 p.m. where you are now? It is 8 p.m. where I am now. Uh, I know people get the time, uh, the start times mixed up. So it is. 8 p.m. Sheila Willis saying good evening to you and everyone. Becky Bramlett saying hello everyone. I'm not a quilter, but I so enjoy watching and listening while I crochet. Well, that's really nice. <laughs> Kevin the quilter saying hey Miss T and all T quilters. Deborah Quilts is here saying hello T and all fellow quilters. Patricia Peace Priest saying howdy to everyone. Um. Beverly Aikens talking to somebody else. Kevin the Quilter is talking to somebody else. <laughs> Liz Wilson says, okay, just checking my time. And Vivian Calvey is here saying hi, T, and everyone. So hello, everybody, and welcome, welcome to the chat. Um, I did some counting. I did some cutting. I got all of my Crown Raw bags cut. I think I have one bag extra, so I'm okay with that if that's 
what's happened. And um, I know what I need of each type of block, even though my blocks look the same, they're kind of constructed a little bit different. So I am, um, I got all of my numbers counted. So I feel good about where I am right now. I'm going to just put some of these pieces back here because I'm not going to be using them all. I'm not going to be using those at all. <laughs> so. Just. So. I do have just a few more of the purple fabric pieces that I need to cut. I'm almost finished with those, so that's good. Okay, Crown Royal. So I never did press the last blocks when we were here sewing these two weeks ago. Or was it one week? I can't remember. <laughs> All right. So I'm just trying to see which one of these blocks I'm working on. So one, four, five, six, seven. Put my work block up here so I know what I'm sewing. And so I did make 10 of these other blocks. Okay. So I'm going to put these to the side. Put these aside so I can work on just one type right now. Let's see if I can find my piece of paper that I had a number on. Oh, it's up here. <laughs> okay. I thought that I had made... Okay. I'm trying to see. These are block A's. I'm doing the wrong block set first. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> These are block A's. And I have one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13. Yeah, so I have 19. So this is the block set I want to do first. So these are my A's. I probably need to like cut a little piece of paper and put block A on here. <laughs> I'll get the new people coming in in just a second. Just trying to get situated here. Because I'm hoping we can just knock these blocks out. Get them done. So I just want to put A on this. Like my pen has no ink or something. Okay. <laughs> so I have 19 A blocks. I need a total of 39. So I need 20 more.
All right, so I got 20. Oh, I need 30 more. Sorry. <laughs> I need 49. Okay, then all the rest are going the other way. Two. Just double checking. <laughs> This is 10. All right. Now let's get the people that have just come into the room. Craft with Love 55 says, greetings, T and everyone. Janice Miller, hello, everyone. Just checking in. Susan says, welcome, Becky B. Crochet away. <laughs> Sue GSD, hello, T and fellow quilters. Binding tonight. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the bad part. Vanessa Brown says, good evening, T and all T quilters. Nicole says she has to bind a quilt too. Wash your hands and saying hello to everyone. Maddie Barnum, hello T and everyone. Remo JS, good evening, Miss T at T Quilters. Thumbs up. Show some love and support. So thank you. Quilts by Carmel, which is Joe Carmel, saying hey T and all T Quilters. And Remo says 74 watching and 36 thumbs up. Step out and step in to show some love. Shirley Peters is saying hello, everyone. And Kevin's saying he's working on a scrap club project. Phyllis G is here saying hi, T, and everyone. So, yes. Um, we got our projects for the year. We have five projects for the year for scrap club. And um, I have cut, I've already done one. We're going to do not today with the scrap club. So I had sold that here with you all with the floral fabrics. I don't think you all seen it in its entirety because it's just way too big to bring in here. But it's quilted. I'm, I need to do something with the binding. I haven't decided if I'm going to hand sew it to the back or machine sew it to the back. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and machine sew it to the back. Uh, I love the quilt, but I think I am planning on using it on my bed. So I do have my old quilts that I've hand sewed to the back and haven't had any problem. But I'm like, if I got so many quilts to do, it's not going to be in a show probably. Then I could this machine do it. So it's just sitting. <laughs> Maybe what I will do is take it to retreat and see if I do something at retreat. I don't know if I get tired of sewing by machine, but whoever gets tired of sewing by machine at retreat. And I do want to turn these upside down. I just not thought about that. Remember, I got some of the little threads. You can see the goal up here. I got some of the threads in the corner because when I cut my blocks on point, I was right on the edge. And it jams at the beginning of the machine, but we'll let it roll through on the bottom part. So make sure we do this correct. So right now I got 30 blocks. I'm hoping I get all 30 of these done. We shall see. <laughs> and I got a long starter tail. Got to get rid of that. Oops. Um. <laughs> Elena says, love your crown royal blocks. What are you going to do with crown royal scraps? I uh, have the back of the bags um, still available. I am probably going to use them in a border some kind of way. I haven't cut that yet. So that's... uh for a future time, but I do have them all cut and saved. So I haven't decided yet, but I am hoping to put a border on this quilt. Um.
Helena says, do you need large bag scraps? No, because I think I'm going to have enough. I'm hoping. <laughs> we shall see. Well, if I get, you know what? If they're purple, I guess so. Because I don't know how many pieces it's going to take. It's probably going to take more than 85 pieces to go around the quilt. So I would say yes if you have them to give. Um, if they're purple for this particular quilt just in case i probably only be able to get one or two pieces out of a bag i'm not sure yet because i haven't cut any so you can wait or you can go ahead and send them it doesn't matter um <laughs> Helen Finaldi is here saying hi, everyone. Hey, Helen, welcome. All right. I don't even have my iron on yet. <laughs> but hey, we got lots of sewing to do. This one needs to go upside down on this other side. Take this one off. All right, so <laughs> uh, Anna Souls is here says, I was asked to do a crown royal quilt. I declined. You know, if I probably, it, the bags have changed now, so you can um, scorch this cheaper material that they're using. So I don't plan on, once I use what I have, as far as the bags that I have, I will not probably seek out any more crown royal bags because the texture has changed i like the old velvet velvet filling bags not these cheap felt bags that they're now making so We're just gonna do the same thing to all three of these stacks of tens. I need 30 more blocks like this. So if I don't do anything else, I'll have these done, but I feel like I'm gonna get a lot done. You all are quiet tonight. Um, I saw that So Yeah was on. They had over 700 people in their uh, sewing fabric de-stash sale. It's de-stashing for them and stashing for us. <laughs> so, people over there buying today. My dear friend Kevin told me um, Hancock's of Paducah has a sale. I didn't even click on the link. So, I have no idea what's on there for sale. Like, I'm not going to do it. Mm -hmm. Hi, Shannon Way says, hey, Miss TNT Quilters, happy Saturday. Welcome back. It's been a long time since I seen your name in the chat. Um... Uh, I went to the post office today, Rose. I didn't get any blocks. I thought you just mailed them yesterday or today. Uh, if they came after I went to the, I went to the post office today around 10 because I had my group meeting and then they closed at 3, so I can't go back afterwards. So not that I go twice anyway. But so, no, I haven't gotten any blocks. Not yet. All right, that's one set of 10. Work our way to the second set of 10, doing the same thing.
take this set off. Just makes it easier for counting. <laughs> They're the exact same things. <laughs> In case I get mixed up, they're already sorted. <laughs> Stacks of 10. Kevin said that he ordered fabrics and batik fabrics from Editor Star. Uh, Miss T, my question about abbreviation on Boho Heart instructions on back cover. What does the letters three to three and one have? MTS means the second line. I have no idea. Three to three and one half. I have no idea. They normally go meters in the in Australia, so I don't know. You can ask me that in the group or something if you're I mean, I wouldn't worry about it if it's got the yards there, but I think it's just some kind of measurement for fabrics that's not yards or inches. Okay. I don't have that in here. Hmm. And maybe somebody posted in the group, somebody else might know too. Because there is a, a couple of people that are not in the USA here. They didn't buy their book here for me, but they just paid to be in the group. So I have no idea what that means. Nicole says, Monday I'm going to Missouri Star and Ben Franklin in Macon. Looking forward to it. Yes, Hunte, have fun. Uh, that Ben Franklin's is good here. <laughs> Either one of them is sufficient because they're owned by the same owner. One has a dedicated spot and the other doesn't. But other than that, the material and all of that stuff is the same. Prices are the same. So enjoy and have fun. I'm hoping I'm not flipping any of this stuff on the wrong side. I'm so close that I can't see the right and wrong side. <laughs> and I'm stitching with the fabric, um, uh, with the Crown Royal fabric up on top because of me having to. Um, because of these corners where I got a few threads to hold my seam allowance. <laughs> Um. <laughs> Lena says, yes, they're purple, having back trouble right now, but with Sensum, my brother-in-law sent me 65 more large Crown Royal bags. They keep multiplying. Yep. <laughs> uh, Shannon says, I'm a silent partner. Ha ha. Yep. That's okay, too. But I hadn't seen your comment in the chat in a long time, so that's good. Uh, T. Roberts says, evening all. Electricity just came back on. Oh, my gosh. Lights always go off at night, right? <laughs> Okay, so I need to take these off. Do the other side. 
Hey, Zella McKenzie saying hi, TNT quilters. Sandy says, I've been trying to get all these scraps under control. She says, woo, it's a chore. I've made personal potato chip and two more started. Anybody want some scraps? I'm willing to mail. <laughs> That's nice of you, Sandy. So, again, we have to see if I have those little starter threads. So, some of them do. Some of my bags, because I cut the smallest bags first, just to get rid of them. I think I'm hitting the mic. My mic's up too high. Hold on. Um, there we go. Sharon Lewis says, hello, T and Quilters just tuned in. Hey, Sharon, welcome. I hope you can work on a project tonight. She's normally in her car or, <laughs> or at work, so that's good. Hopefully you're home. All right, I need to put these up here. <laughs> I'm up here looking at my board to make I got a piece of paper making sure that I'm making the right number of these blocks we don't want to be ripping out a lot of stitches. That would not be fun. <laughs> so I got rid of all of my small bags. I was cutting the piece on point. So some of them, because it was cutting on point on a small bag, I have just a little bit of stitching. I had to add a little flip corner onto a few. They were so tiny. In my experience in making these bags is that they're all different sizes. Sue says, we're getting close. 500 days until the greatest retreat ever. She got a round number, guys. <laughs> 500 days. I did contact the retreat facility on Thursday and I haven't heard anything, just silence back. So, um, interesting. So I guess I'll be calling next week just to clear everything up. So, uh, maybe changing retreat centers after all, you never know. <laughs> we shall see. Um, Zella says, I have too many scraps, too. Looks like. Oh, so she's figured out for herself what that means. That's what I thought. It was meter. So. Uh, uh, Zella says she has too many. Hey, Janet Mackerel. She's saying good evening, TNT Quilters. Whoops, I'm about to sew two pieces on here. Pay attention, girl. <laughs> Got this little added corner on this block, so I want to sew it so I can see the underside. Make sure it don't flip. And I think I have them all sewed on this stack of 10. So I'll sew the next one. All right. These are just ready to be pressed. So we'll stack these. Mm. 
Next set of 10. Vicki Barnes says, good evening, T and everyone just tuned in. Uh, Melissa says, T, would you please share my mailing info with Sandy? Um, you all going to have to send me that information or Sandy's going to have to request it because y'all know when I get off this live chat, I don't remember anything. It's 10 o'clock. I'm normally getting something to eat and I'm chilling. So make sure you email me somebody. <laughs> don't leave it to me. I'm barely remembering which block I'm making. That's crazy. I was about to mix these blocks up. <laughs> um, Get over that little tip and okay that's my bernina bag that fell i found my bernina bag and now it just fell off my desk i'll get it later <laughs> uh, from the vibration of sewing i set it up there before we started <laughs> all right so this one might have a little bit of this if it's going to have some gold showing, it'll be okay, though. Because I had to piece. This one was really small. And a few of these were really small. <laughs> we'll just make sure that they're at the bottom of the quilt. <laughs> Um, um, Judy says, where do you find all the CR bags? I only have a few and haven't been able to find any. I ended up, uh, to get the last ones that I needed, I ended up buying them from people that were selling them on my Facebook marketplace. So I tell people to check there. Okay. I'm out of little small pieces of... Um, this lavender that I'm using. Um, I wonder what's the nice secret word is. <laughs> um, I don't have a lot of quilting cottons. I would love any quilting scraps. A lot of people are saying that um, uh, Diana Sewing Adventures is here saying hello. Hi, Diana. Welcome to the channel. Um, Kevin says, there was last week, Melissa. <laughs> So, yep. Okay, I put this thing in the wrong way. So now I got to play with it. <laughs> uh, 
That's why I've been turning them the other way. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention and put one in wrong. Kevin, I'm not playing with you. <laughs> Don't toss in just a gazillion words. I am not playing with you. You are too funny. Some people make money doing long warm quilting. I think the real money is custom binding, laughing out loud. You got that right. <laughs> I hate it either way. I think, I can't remember how I charge, if it's a dollar or a foot, like the outside area or something like that. But it's expensive to bind a, a person's quilt. I don't charge if I make the quilt entirely myself, but I do charge if, if I long arm quilt somebody's quilt and they want me to finish it, then I charge. And that's by machine, because I don't do it by hand on anybody's quilt. Woo. All right, so we almost got these 30 with the two pieces on the side. So we're doing pretty good tonight. It's 830. And Liz says, that's not fair, Kevin, <laughs> with all those words. Anna says, do you bind on your long arm? I do put the binding on the front of my quilt on the long arm, yes. But that still doesn't dictate if I... I still put the binding on the front and I can still do it by machine if I want to by stitching in the ditch from the front. So yes, I do. Or I can hand sew it to the back. So I still have both choices available to me when I do it that way. All right, we almost finished with these, with this step. <laughs> We're trying to get 30 blocks done today. We'll see. <laughs> so now I need, um, whoops, I'm about to put this in the wrong way. It was resisting. I was able to get it out of there. <laughs> All right. So now I think, let me make sure I got the last one done. Nope. See? One more. All right, so I can put up the small pieces. I still got to cut a few pieces, not that many. I need about 20 or so of these pieces in both sizes made, cut. So that'll be when I work on the B blocks. So now I need 60 of these. One, two, five, six, seven, eight. That's 10 for one set of blocks. It's 10.
and 10. So this is what I need. Have to, um, all of them are going to end up with a square on them, but if I'm working on particular set number of blocks, it's best to have them here. Oh, let's see. <laughs> laughing at Kevin trying to figure out what's the secret word and want to know what happens when somebody um what did he say when someone says it okay <laughs> My quest in blocks. <laughs> She's trying to put it in a sentence. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you all are too funny. All right. So I'm just, all of these need to be pressed. So I'll just wait until I get all the other pieces that need to be pressed and we'll do all the pressing at one time. So I'll just keep the 10 separated. These squares don't necessarily have to be separated. Oh, I got plenty of squares everywhere, don't I? <laughs> so let me put these up for right now and use this stack. All right, first thing I need to do is turn all of these on the right side. These only get one piece, uh, one square, doesn't get two. So this would be, should be quick. And I don't have to worry about keeping them separated either because I got the block separated, so that'll work. Okay, so everything's right side up. It doesn't matter on the ground rural bags. I just need to make sure I get one. Some of these things are pretty thin with this new texture they got. So you have to be careful. Otherwise, you're going to be doing some extra cutting. And I must be at a point where I'm getting some of the thin bags here. And they fray a lot. I guess they don't want us making quilts out of their bags anymore. Uh, Sandy says, what you win, you win scraps from Sandy, right? I think it's Sweetheart since it's so close to Valentine's. Nope. Hey, Zandra Odom says, hi, T and everyone. <laughs> and, so, and so now Kevin is just sending one word phrases at a time now. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> if I can't send them all in one, I'll send them in, multi send them in multiples. <laughs> and you're still not there. <laughs> so, Nope. Kevin's over there swimming in scraps. Uh, he's sorting scraps now. Make sure this is one. It felt funny. And talking about players got to play, Miss T. <laughs> 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 
I guess I'll have to change my words since nobody is, is saying it. I'll change it next time. French Seams is here. Patricia says Royal. Not quite. Um, good evening, T and all T quilters. Finally able to catch a live. That's what Prince seems saying. Vivian is saying good night. Good night, Miss Vivian. And Uh, Sue says that the Chief's Chandelier quilt <laughs> is bound and done. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I like how you all trying to sneak the, sneak your word in. <laughs> Not quite. Um, crown is not it. Super Bowl Sunday is not it. <laughs> I see Apple Crown Royal Count commercials every day on TV. So there are bags just not like from the beginning. Yeah, they do have a few flavors. They got peach. They've got vanilla. I've got those bags, but I don't have um, that one. I mean, I don't, I do have those. I do have apple peach and some uh, vanilla bags, but I don't have, like they got specialty bags, other types of bags. I don't have them all. They even got some blue bag or something. So, but I don't know if that's a specialty bag. I thought it was a specialty bag, but somebody says they think it's for flavor at my meeting today, so. Um, is it quarterback? Nope. I thought I saw some Eagles bags. Nope. I saw a few peach. I like that one. Didn't care for apple or vanilla. Nope. Not yet. <laughs> the funny thing is you all are close and not. <laughs> At the same time, I'm going to have to put this one on backwards. Okay, so now we're just turning these all to the right side so I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Carnival of color. <laughs> <laughs> no, Betsy. <laughs> no to any of that. <laughs> if nobody says it, I'm going to tell you what my word is just so you all know I got a word <laughs> and then I'm gonna switch it next time because apparently this one's not working this is twice I've been trying to use this word last Saturday and today African violet from Patricia Uh, I see gold. J 
Just got here. How's everyone? That's from Lily S. saying hi. I know cabbage. Nope. <laughs> Gigi is no. Purple is no. A lot of you are in the neighborhood, but you just got to dig just one tab deeper. And it's not Kevin either. <laughs> He's all over the place and still not one of the ones that are close. <laughs> okay, it's Judy Hubert. Hebert. It is lavender. I've been looking for the word lavender for two weeks. <laughs> so yay to Judy. It's lavender. Not purple. Lavender. <laughs> All right. Judy Heber, email me your mailing address. And they got all kinds of stuff down here too. <laughs> they were still coming in at the bottom so that was pretty good this is what you're getting it's a keepsake quilting 20 piece two and a half inch jelly roll strips go from purple to pinks so that's what you're winning email me your mailing address judy hebert and I probably need to leave this out now so I see it, so I know to mail it. <laughs> and it won't be until I, my next orders go out, probably Monday, hopefully. Um, I got a, I said, I told you all I got retreats, uh, a retreat next week. So I won't be here Saturday for live sewing chat officially. I don't know if I'm going to see if I can go live there or not. Sometimes Wi-Fi work where I was sitting in the room at uh before it didn't work so i'm going back to my original corner and see if it works back in my corner and i'm also going to try to just use my phone turn my phone wi-fi off and use my wireless with uh t-mobile i guess <laughs> see if that works better All right, so we got just about, we're getting close to having 35 of these done of 60. <laughs> and then we need to do some pressing. And you all are so nice. <laughs> Purple to pinks plus lavender. Right, I was to say, some of you all were in the neighborhood, <laughs> even with the royal because that's that's kind of like royal purple. Some of you all said purple, but I'm like, I can't just leave it at purple. You got to give me the other color. Because somebody said purple last time and it wasn't. They didn't even know I had a contest at the time, but it was it's actually lavender. <laughs> All you had to say was, that's some pretty lavender fabric, and you would have won. And last time, I didn't tell you all to the end. And somebody had even said purple, like for the purple bag. But nobody talked about the color of the supporting color. <laughs> Monday is a state holiday. Not sure about federal. So, yeah, no. Monday. Oh, it's a state holiday, but not federal. In Missouri, I think they only close on President's Day, which is the following Monday, I thought. Because this is the second Monday of the month, not the third. So everything is, is open on Monday. Should be. They only close for President's Day, not Lincoln, because this is Lincoln's Day. One's Lincoln and the other one is Washington. The state gets both. <laughs> 
But I don't, I may not get it there Monday anyway, but it's, you know, it's a free gift. So it goes when it goes. Well, it's free to Judy, <laughs> not free to me. <laughs> That's what I mean. I've already spent my coin on it. Just turning everything over so I don't have to worry about putting it on the wrong side. I think I had one piece last time when I sold these that I was talking and didn't flip it. So I like to do that ahead of time if I can. We've got 20 more to go here. <clears throat> and then we need to press. I have been moving some stuff around in this room. This stuff is all new up here. Okay. I need water in my urn. Pulling some stuff out that I'm taking to retreat. I do use steam urn. A little bit more. All right. And then my final seam, I normally go to my Oliso iron, a nice heavy iron, and make sure everything's nice and flat. <laughs> but to get started so we can keep sewing here, I need to press here. So we'll let this heat up while I sew these last 20 through. It'll probably cut off, but at least it'll be heated to start. <laughs> Um, uh, Connie saying grape prize. <laughs> That's some pretty lavender fabric tea laughing out loud. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was cleaning up and had that in my room and I go, I wanted to give this away as a prize. And, um, I guess I never did. So it's, it's given now. <laughs> It's been just sitting here to give. And I do most, if I do any prizes, it's normally doing my chats because um, I like to give the people that are sitting here chatting with me a chance to win. <laughs> if you put it, make a video about a prize drawing, I'm not one that's trying to do a prize drawing to gain subscribers. So. I just, if you put it outside on the community page, then you get all these people that subscribe and don't really watch, and then most likely one of those people will win. <laughs> so, I'd rather I give it to somebody I talk to on a regular. <laughs> Miss T, what did you do with the MQ Xmas box? I to throw it out, but keep thinking, taking out the trash. Girl, it's still sitting with the stuff in it because I can't be bothered with that. I'm actually, um, when I talk to y'all Wednesday about clothes, guess what? I haven't touched another piece of clothes. I think I washed two loads of clothes. And I was like, you know what? I need a break from that. So I got to finish that. I decided I'll wait till Monday to go back to that. Um, I got just a few more things to go through. I got to go through dress clothes. Um, I got all the everyday stuff gone through. Now I got to do the after five. Um, what else? Or maybe not. <laughs> I might. I've been. I, what I've also been doing is cutting for a quilt retreat. Uh, cutting pieces. And I've cut like more crown royal pieces too. Like cutting those blocks out. Because I might take it to retreat too. So I can start getting this piece. I'm hoping that the blocks 
Uh, I get a good chunk of these blocks done. We'll see. I got a whole project I cut out for my scrap club. So I don't know how many of these I'm going to get done. But that's my goal. Just to put some of this together. All right. So we need two, four, five more pieces here to finish this stack. Five more squares. Um, yeah, Nicole's saying that she works for the state of Missouri. We are close. Yeah. Um, I love that about working for the state of Missouri. Um, I'm probably going to end up throwing my box away. For some reason, my box from day one, it seemed like it never wanted to stay closed or that it was loose. Like I had a bad box or something. So I don't know. I probably just pitch it. A lot of people say they keep them. This one girl had them from every year. She posted in the group. I might go back through that box and find some more stuff to get rid of or put into retreat donations or something because, yeah. I did the uh, that little duck wallet. I really had fun doing that because I really wanted to do a project like that. So I was really happy to see that. I know it wasn't uh, anything that I was expecting in my bag. I just want to press here. Keep this iron heated up. Because we're about to use it. We got a lot of stuff here, but I don't have enough thread to use one of those. <laughs> I'm cheap with my thread, so I don't have enough room to cut. <laughs> cut it with that little thread cutter thing, like something like this or the rotary blade. Because I don't have enough room in between my strings. I have less than a quarter of an inch. And when I cut with those, it pulls my uh, threads out of my seam stitching. So I don't like it. <laughs> I would like my thread to stay in my seam. So, found a piece of red fabric, a thread, a piece of red thread. <laughs> Just toss it to the floor for right now. Just get out of here. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, Judy. President's Day is February 20th, and that's when the banks are closed, February 20th, if I'm not mistaken, that that's the national holiday. I don't think the banks are closed on Lincoln's Day, because the state considers one for Lincoln and one for Washington. In the state of Missouri. <laughs> hey, Celia Swain. Uh, that's nice of you, T. Yep. I try to make sure that people that are here get it. She's talking about the price. All right. I only got 60 of these to cut. <laughs> Each block takes two of these. So it takes a while to get through, but... It's going pretty quick. I see the end. I thought. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it was longer than I thought. But it's close. So now I'm just going to press everything away from the Crown Royal fabric. The, I'm going to press towards the lavender. <laughs>
All right, I'm gonna press everything towards the lavender. Jim Bennett's here reminding people to hit the thumbs up. Hey, Jim. Anna says, I was going through my kits to see what I want to make next. Helen's asking, what Bernie model do you have? Or do I sew on? I have, this is a 770 uh, quilters edition with the embroidery unit but i hardly ever embroider on it every now and then um i also have the old 830 banana record um i was using it to go to classes but that joke is just as heavy as this it's made of all metal on the outside it makes a difference um so i have two diana says I really do like the purple and lavender colors together. I can't wait to see what the quilt looks like when you get it done. <laughs> um, I do have just a few of my rows sewed together. I'm using an old recycled yard board, election board, but this is what it's looking like. And I'm making 85 blocks like that. So that's what it'll look like. I've had this sitting here for... I could have showed that earlier. I forgot. <laughs> I can't sit it up here. It's too big. I got the quilt back. I was worried about being off. How you talked about blocks being off. She says mine were barely off. Thank you for letting uh, for talking about blocks being off and affecting quilting. Yes. So and that was good because I'm sure that she probably appreciated the comment because I'm telling you there are some that she wished would bring up that comment, the longworm culture wish would bring up that conversation so they don't have to bring it up. But yeah, when you ask, and then it's like you're opening yourself for the criticism so then they can tell you. But, you know, no matter what she says, you're taking it as a learning opportunity. So that's good to know that you're doing very well with your piecing, that it's, and nobody is perfect, but you're close enough that it doesn't affect the quilting to give pucker. So that's nice to know. And very adult of you to go and approach her <laughs> to ask about it. Because a lot of people don't want to know. I'm not looking for perfect quilts. I'm just looking for quilts that are in the neighborhood. <laughs> you don't want a quilt that has three extra inches on a border. So that was a good topic, though. And we had a whole lot of long warmers in the group. Whether they longed on for themselves or they longed on for others. We had one person that actually longed on for himself. And he found out from his very first quilt top that he had to make some, some changes to make. <laughs> the very first one of his quilts that he quilted. He was like, this is not going to work. <laughs> Oh, that is awesome. So people are talking about when I showed the quilt top. Yep. So thank you guys. That's a lot of that in here. <laughs> good evening, Joanne Parker. She says, good evening, T and everyone. Um, 
the crown royal quilt is coming along beautifully so thank you according to my orthopedic doctor i should be able to see again in march and i cannot wait so that's awesome as well messing with the eyes stuff going wrong with the eyes is no joke I had floaters so bad, they were giving me headaches because I had so many, and then there's nothing that they can do. <laughs> you just got to let them work themselves out. So I understand. I'm sure her eyes are more serious, but still. I almost missed a whole car with a floater blocking my view. Well, I almost, I missed the car. The car blew, then I heard it, and then I saw it. It's like, and now I've learned how to work with it. The funny thing about floaters is you don't know you have one there. <laughs> well, you know you have it, but sometimes they block your vision, and you don't know that your vision is being blocked. Because you kind of get used to it after a while. And then they're moving. That's why they call them floaters. So, And mine's moved to the point where I'm missing a whole car. So now I'm really careful. I know what to do. I know how to avoid that from happening again. So I'm really careful when I'm at intersections and stuff. Oh, she says, so, not see. I thought she, we don't have a whole conversation on seeing. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> but hey, whatever. <laughs> yeah. This is one of the reasons I don't like pressing here. I spend more time pressing now. <laughs> it takes a while to press. So, and I haven't even pressed the other. This is 60 pieces, and I still have uh, the 30 units, another 60 seams to press on the other. It'd be time to go. <laughs> uh oh, it's not steaming anymore. I guess I got to put it back. <laughs> Get it heated up. <laughs> I like this iron for not having to need a cord, but you know, still had good heat on it though. And it's not flashing like it's reheating, it just didn't steam anymore. We're getting through this stack. I'm starting to get cataracts not affecting my eyesight. Okay. That's from Judy. Hey, T and T Quilters from Shaquita Pearson. Hey, Shaquita. Remo is reminding people to hit the thumbs up button. Okay, this is sitting in there. I got this many more. <laughs> Oops.
just a few more right here <laughs> yeah it take me longer to press than it do to sew them <laughs> i guess i could have finger pressed them but i'm like i got the iron right here i pressed them with my wooden iron but you know Yeah, I got tired of working with clothes and came in here and started trying to fix some of this room. All right. We're just going to press these out. <laughs> I got one turned the wrong way. I guess I could press the one that's right. <laughs> I told you. Wrong side. That was that earlier batch, that first batch when I didn't separate them. Yep. As you sew, so shall you rip. It don't stay hot long where it will keep the steam going, but the iron itself is still very hot. Very strange. Because I'm getting good press, and it's hot. But it's not hot enough for steam. Ann is asking, is this a quilt for you or someone else? It's starting out as a quilt for me. But if somebody wants to buy it, I'm open to that as well. They'll just have to pay for it. <laughs> yes. You know, people don't realize that making quilts from clothing and all of that actually should cost more than just a regular quilt. Uh, because you, you can't, it's not like cutting yardage and you're just done. You, you're dealing with smaller pieces. I had to cut these pieces one at a time because I was cutting on point and I couldn't stack them and center as best I could the Crown Royal in a center, especially on the small bag. So some of them are centered and some of them are a little off center, but not enough that it looks bad to the eye. I'm just letting the iron heat up a little bit, so I'll just press some of these just to get them started so I'm not doing anything. <laughs> At least I'm working. At least I got all of my units here put together correct. Uh, all my pieces for the 30 blocks are sewn together to something else. They just need to be made into the block now. So the 30 I need this way. Give it another mm, 30 seconds or so. I'll do two more. One. <laughs> and then we'll get it back out and press. Um, June says, hi, T and everyone. My oldest birthday dash is tonight. He's 45. <laughs> um, yesterday. <laughs> right, Anna. She says, no, they don't realize that. Right. Go ahead and open these up while the iron's recycling. So that way I have the seams completely open. Uh, 
I'm hoping I can just run these through here once I get them pressed. We shall see. We're shooting for getting 30 blocks made today with chatting. <laughs> so we shall see. Now, I've only done 10 in the past. <laughs> so I'm being really prolific here, right? <laughs> Let's get these pressed. Should be ready. Even if I don't get the final press, at least the blocks will be sewn. That'll be great. Even if I don't press again. <clears throat> Yep, I only have, I have 30 blocks made, and then I'll need another 25 in the other orientation that I'm sewing, so. I'm hoping, I don't know if I'll make it, but that's my goal. <laughs> If not, when I go to retreat, they'll definitely get done. Okay, so now we're ready for these. One. Should have about six more maybe I need to do somewhere in that neighborhood. <laughs> These blocks are not that complicated. It's only because I'm sitting here talking and chatting that I'm slow. And when I first start, <laughs> I'm just chatting, no talk, no sewing. So. These are the blocks, some of these with that old cheap stuff that wants to burn up. I can want to melt into the iron or something. All right. So I'm going to cut this iron off because I'm not going to press the final seams here. I can see we got 30 minutes. Oops. Oh, this is the one I need to re sew. So I guess I do need that back on for a little bit. And the one under my needle. This is the one that has the piece on the wrong side. Always correct your mistakes before leaving your sewing area. We don't wanna come back the next day to mistakes. And I got this um, fabric here. So I was trying, but that piece that has the little Threads in a corner, so I'm trying not to kill it. <laughs> I can't even get up under here. I don't know if the flannel is grabbing. I better take this out the other way. The flannel is grabbing my knob on my seam ripper or velvet. I don't know what this stuff is. Flannel felt. <laughs> One feels good and the other feels like cheap stuff. All right, so we just have one seam to take out. So that's actually pretty good. Pull out my little threads here. Put that in there. Take out any threads. I don't want to see them later in my project. Get rid of them now. 
It keeps sticking to my fingernail now. <laughs> All right, right sides are together. Oops, found one on this side. And we're gonna run this back through. All of these are right side up. And this goes that way on the top. Yep, we're gonna run through these. We're gonna make it happen. <laughs> All right, we just wanna press these two and then I can cut my iron off. All right, that's off. And we're going to run these through. We're going to do it. 30 blocks, two seams. Uh, Mary F is here. Jim says, when I make quilts for family, they request it. I have them pay for the fabric. Yes. And I, you know, some of them don't even realize what the fabric costs. So, and I have one friend that makes them because she uses her scraps. She makes all scrap quilts. So she don't charge them for the scrap quilting. But what she charges them for is the quilt backing, batting, and the quilting. She has them pay. She has a long armor do the quilting. So she have them pay the expenses. If they can't pay that, then they don't get a quilt. Just making sure I got these the right way before I sew the whole stack, you know. <laughs> and like I said, some of these bags are nice bags. They don't fray. The cheap material frays. Crop will love tea. That is, is that quilt cool for you or someone? I'm not sure if you had said that. I just mentioned that, that uh, it's a quilt that I'm just making because I wanted to make a Crown Royal quilt. But if somebody wants to pay me for this quilt, they're more than welcome to. I've always wanted to make one. I didn't, nec I never have said I had to keep it. I've just always wanted to make one. So I've made it now or making it. And if somebody, you know, want to pay for all the work I put into it, they're more than welcome to do that. Um, yeah. I had to purchase a few of my bags because I needed bags to, uh, you know, to get the project started. At the time, I wasn't sure what type of design I wanted to do. So I got plenty of bags now. So that's a cost. I had to pay it. Somebody else got to pay it. <laughs> okay, these are turned for some reason. At least I'm paying attention to that. <laughs> I want to do the top with the piece to the left. The square to the left. Because it could be square to the right and that would be wrong. <laughs> Um, thanks, Sue. She says it looks good. Diana says, Good night. It looks good, T. Thank you. Good night, Diana. Melissa says, Your mom didn't call dibs on that quilt. My mom, well, unless she see it on the live, she hasn't seen it. <laughs> I stopped showing her and my daughter quilts. They took every quilt. Both of them. They were tag teaming me. Okay, so maybe I just had a couple that were upside down. and Not the whole thing. <clears throat> I 
At least I'm paying attention to orientation. Don't have to rip this, hopefully. Um. Hey, Ellen, she's saying hi, everyone. <laughs> Melissa talking about I'm shocked. She says she's been watching my YouTube, but she hasn't been saying much about what goes on so it'll be interesting if she says something now that i'm saying something see if she's really still watching Um, Yep. I'm not even talking that much. I'm on a mission. <laughs> it's like 30 blocks, 30 blocks. <laughs> Oh, that is funny. My mind's on a goal now. Eric says 30 blocks, 30 blocks, 52 blocks. Oh, wait, that was me. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my hmm. just take some of this off to get rid of the pile behind my machine Okay, those are ready to go the opposite direction. <laughs> Have about 45 more seams to go. <laughs> I don't know what size the quilt will finish. Let me see. For some reason, EQ didn't print it at the bottom like it normally does. So I have no idea. I'm just going to say somewhere in the 60, 60 something in that neighborhood. Uh, 85 blocks on point. Good night, Susan. Clay Adamir says, uh, 
Evening tea and everyone from Clayton and Liz in Saskatchewan, Canada. Hello, hello. I have some, <laughs> I want some YouTube formers in that area. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. That's Clay. Betsy says 39 patches accomplished. Now to assemble the layout for the charm quilt of the month. Okay, so she's working on another project. <laughs> She's making 39 patches. I'm trying to get 30 of these chandelier blocks done today. <laughs> Whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Woo-wee! Y'all something else in the chat. June is reminding people to hit the thumbs up. Thank you, June. Okay. <laughs> We're still working on this one side. <laughs> Long as we get it before, I don't know. 9.45, we'll be close. I might be a few minutes over. I started somewhere around 9.25 sewing, somewhere in that neighborhood. So... That was the last time I checked the time anyway. Now they're talking about the uh, Super Bowl. Who's going to win that? <laughs> what their preference is. Our local store is having 20% off everything tomorrow. But I'm not going. I'm going to stay right here with all this other fabric I got <laughs> that I don't have a place to put up. You start rearranging and moving stuff, you'd be like, oh my goodness, this is just ridiculous. Two more that for the first side needs to be sewed. And then we can go to the other side. So I might make it. We shall see. I like challenges. <laughs> Realistic or un otherwise. I still like to try. Get as close as I can. All right. We're on the second side now. But I need to clip that whole section off. Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same way. Because <laughs> it's upside down. Make sure I'm turning this the right way. I would be upset if I have to rip, boy. 
All right, we got one on here so I can get all the others off. And then after these, I need 25B, but I, of course, won't be doing that today. <laughs> but the number is, has reduced. I needed 55 blocks today, so I've cut that in half. So that's awesome. I just need to press. I won't worry about pressing. I'll press at my with my Oliso iron on my big board. Got more room, and it's a heavier iron takes less work. Yeah, the Chiefs weren't, weren't expected to win the playoff game, but they did. So you got to be careful of them Chiefs right now. Good night, Ellen. Thank you, Clay. Almost finished with these 30. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Me and my challenges, but I'm, I look like I might make this one doable. <laughs> Have to laugh at myself. While I'm also participating in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think I've done pretty good tonight. Chatting and sewing. Hey, Robin Boyd. Like your blocks are coming along well. That's from June. Thank you. I'm gonna, I can't wait to, so I can start finishing some of these rows again. Um, I feel like, well, you know, you start putting some of the rows together, that's less pieces. I like piece reduction. <laughs> and I still got a few purple pieces I need to cut. I don't have the cuts in front of me. I had it today at our meeting. I did all my counting of what's because I just free cut these. I didn't count as I was cutting. So I wanted to make sure I didn't waste my grunge fabric by overcutting. <laughs> so. So I counted today to make sure I count the right number. And 
and look like success is going to be knocking at my door in a minute. <laughs> well, maybe not a minute. <laughs> a few minutes. <laughs> I do want to clip this chain just because it gets so much back here. And now these are just ready to be pieced. They're almost half. This is 13 out of 15, out of 30. Getting closer. As long as we got 10 minutes, I'm okay. <laughs> I think we got about 12 or 13 minutes left. Uh, how many blocks is this quilt? It's 85. I had only made um, 30 of the blocks. I needed 55. So I needed 55 more. So I just made 30 today. So now I'm down to 25 needed. So I'm seeing the light. Hmm. Try to push you up under there just a little bit. Mm -mm. You do excellent every time, Miss T. That's Kevin. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. Is that the boo boo hoo heart in the back? <laughs> the boo hoo heart. <laughs> Yes, it is. Uh, just a section. That's the section I'm currently working on. I had to work a little bit ahead because I needed uh, one section goes out tomorrow. The top part that's right at my head level, that part goes out tomorrow as an assignment. And then the bottom section goes out while I'm on vacation in Atlanta, Georgia. So I had to get that part done so I could be ready to release that from out of town. So, yes, I had to do a little bit of pre-stuff. So I'm trying to, that's the other thing, you know, it's not just what you all see. I'm doing a whole lot of stuff behind the scenes. And now I got to start packing for retreat. I'm going on a retreat Friday. My daughter's birthday is Thursday, but our, and our guild meeting is also Thursday. So it's a lot going on. So... Oh, I forgot too. Sarah made a pillowcase for my granddaughter. It's animal prints. I did not bring that in here though. Okay, I'm trying to figure out like why do I not have enough of these pieces? <laughs> a lack of counting correctly. Mm. All right. <laughs> Maybe we won't have 30 blocks. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't count I just really thought I had counted these correct goodness gracious let's see how many were short goodness oh my goodness and I don't think nothing has fell back this way I went to check behind the machine I didn't see anything so I guess I miscounted Mm. 
I only got two more left. It's like where they do that at. And I didn't count the squares as a double check. That would be too much like right. <laughs> All right, how many are we short? <laughs> Four. Ugh. Just making sure. So we have 26 blocks. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right. All right, we got to cut you on. We got to get four more pieces. Put all of these on the right side, four squares. The goal must be met. Thirty blocks in two hours. <laughs> I just hope I didn't have any of these things stuck together. That's the main thing. <laughs> I might be cutting a few extra pieces. I didn't see anything stuck together when I pressed. So I'm hoping that I just miscounted. All right. That's over there in the completed pile. This is heated up already. course we had to cut the iron back on right <laughs> can't press some and not press them all and this here goes up here and I got one more to press with the heated iron Take this one off, put this up. All right, go almost accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> Trudy talking about she's glad she's the only one that miscounts. You know, sometimes it's hard. I can do all kind of calculations and then it's hard to count to 10, you know? <laughs> Last one needs to be pressed. Right there. Put that iron off again because we're not going to press the final blocks here tonight. Last scene. Woohoo! 
touchdown. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, 30 blocks that need to be pressed plus the 10 that I made last week need to be pressed from this same block A. And this is block A, like that. It's the same block, just I rotated the center one quarter turn or something like that. I can't remember what I did. But I know I rotated the center, but these are the ones I had done last week. And at the end, I had 10 blocks. Yeah, last week, 10 blocks. And so I wanted to get 30 done because I'm like, you need to step it up a little bit. <laughs> So these all get pressed. I'll just leave them here. I got to do something with this. So this will all be in the right position. Um, put all my other pieces back into the bag. Well, you know what? I'll just lay it on top. Because if I, I would like to get these other ones done before retreat. So I can have this as another retreat project with just blocks only. Sometimes you get tired of working with the piecing and then you can just put your blocks together. So I like to have projects in different stages. So maybe I'll get a chance to come back in here. I need 25 more blocks with the B formation that I'm calling it. What are those pieces behind your phone? I don't know what he's talking about. These are my next set of blocks I need to make. So I can put this on the board. Um, oh, these pieces by the phone here, these are my crown royals for my B blocks. Okay. Mm. That's what I think he's talking about. But I got all of my A's done. I'm going to press them and then put them in a bag by themselves <laughs> so I don't mix them up. Um, good night, Eric. And Good night, Patricia. So yeah, we're going to get off of here, guys. It's 10 p.m. Mission accomplished. <laughs> 30 blocks in two hours with chatting. So that was pretty good. Uh, I feel like I've been uh, <laughs> on a roller coaster ride a little bit toward the end trying to get it done. Uh, you know, when you first start out, you're all relaxed and, oh, I can get it done. It'll be no problem. And then it's like, okay, I got 30 minutes. <laughs> so... Uh, everybody, uh, come back Wednesday, Wednesday, what's going on Wednesday? I should be home Wednesday. <laughs> so I'll be here for live chat at 7 PM Eastern standard time, just one hour chat on Wednesdays. So if you come back, that would be awesome. And, uh, on next Saturday, I may not be here or I may go live at a different time. It just depends on what's going on at retreat. If they're having a formal presentation, then I probably won't come on, but if not, then maybe I'll see if I can just hook my phone up. Maybe I'll just sew while you guys chat. I won't be chatting as much if I'm in, um, you know, a room full of people. But we shall see how that works, uh, depending on if I get my same seat that I normally get, because then I won't have anybody in my background. So that makes a difference, too. <laughs> I don't want to uh, record other people at retreat that having to be aware of everything that they're doing in the background. So. You all stay blessed, be safe, and quilt out, everybody. 